Hey there, it's Uncris here, and this is part 6 of Undertale. And we just got into Waterfall, or faced against Undyne, and we're about to visit Napster Bloke, who's just up here, in one of his houses here, I think. Yeah, here he is. <gasps> oh, you really came. Sorry. I just wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a big sale on it. This CD is labeled Gouldy. Gully Day music. Play it? Cool. The city is labeled Spook Wave. Play it? Yeah. <laughs> city is labeled Spooky Tunes. Spook Tunes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, a classic spooky tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, TV, sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal like this, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Oh, it's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay. Follow my lead. Here we go. You lie down for as long as you do. You lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move when you want to get up. I guess. And so, they thought about stuff, and felt like garbage. Hmm. It's so weird and trippy. Anyway, onwards. Well, that was nice. Thank you. It's locked. Okay. Doesn't still like anyone's home. What? 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 It's a living. Ducky! The little bird wants to carry your cross. Accept the bird's offer? Sure. That could have been an epic song. <laughs> but that's all there is of that song. Oh. Yep. 
I saw the rose there. I would like to know what that song would have built into if it was a full song. <laughs> Just been there. Okay, so. Save. What did that just say there? You feel a calming tranquility. You are filled with determination. North. Blue, Blue Acres. East Hotland. Question mark. Temi Village. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I want to use something here. Maybe I can find, go to Temi Village, sell some of this stuff. Like the bandage, tough glove, and stick, and faded ribbon. About yourself. I've been around you a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you live through it so much of yourself. Wahahaha! <laughs> eh? You don't know what this is? What are they teaching you kids in schools these days? Wahahaha! <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom, the kingdom of monsters. Wahahaha! <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I, it's as I always say. Zero old king fluffy buns can't name for beans. The emblem's actual predates the written history. The original meaning has been lost in time. All we know that is triangulates symbols as monsters below, and the wings circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface would send from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people who have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the Angel of Death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why did I call me Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it, but if you come back l much later, I'm pretty sure I'll remember it by then. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination. Ugh, jeez, tired. Fuck. Don't know where it's come from. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It just might save your hide. Ha ha ha. Okay then. Buy. Let's buy the Tor notebook. Be careful out there, kid. <laughs> Down here. Water. Okay. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of our greatest magicians seal us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings of a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell, 
have a huge power equivalent to the human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Ugh. Oh, do I feel a bit tired? Whatever. Carry on. It's only like 12:24 p.m. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. are not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. No! <laughs> Just the two of us, huh? <laughs> uh. Flex. Out of the room. Hi, welcome to Tem Village. Hi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> Whoa, 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 humans, such a cute, Tim, watch egg, egg will hatch, Tim, proud parent, parent, it's hard boiled, mushroom dance, mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. P Tem hired whom? Allergics to Tem. That okay, Tem understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem. <laughs> Feeling of being watched. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. What could it mean? Whatever could it mean? If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how could I leave? Statue of Tim. Very famous. Very. Hiya! I agree. Should check Tim shop. Hi. We should check out Temp Shop. Yay! Hi! Welcome to Temp Shop. <laughs> Tor notebook. Whoa! You got a Tor notebooks. Not bus. I'm not going to have that Tor notebooks. But I got to have paper colleague. Tim always want a Tor notebooks. Yeah. Hunter G, yes. Mandana. <laughs> hmm. Let's do this uh, dog residue thing if you use it. Use. Do 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 do. Dog residues. Cool. 
Okay. Do 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 do. Got to grind up for a lot of use for the uh, money thing to get the uh, temp armor, even though we won't really need it. But whatever. Okay, so back to where we are. Uh, did a lot of money grinding to get the Tem Arbor. And, uh, so yeah. Temmy Arbor is the most strongest armor you can get in the game. Probably just at least half an hour trying to get this bloody thing. So, we're gonna equip this. Use. So I'm going to put the old tutu in there, dog residue in there. I'm going to take the cinnamon buns. Save. Okay. So let's go. Leaving Temp Village. Let's go. Probably waste at least an hour and a half. Yeah, try to grind all that money up. Clean. Do avoid his attacks. Flex. Da, 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 da. The thing about Tebby Armor is that it heals you every turn and you gain HP when you take damage. Which is kind of good, but bad in the same way because it's kind of a cheaty kind of item. I didn't realize the cursor was in the way. Anyway. Womp. Sick. Missed it. Quickly down and through this way. Special tech, Temmy. Spare. Sure. <laughs> really love the music. It's very charming in its own way. It makes it give you a good sense of feeling to the game with more atmosphere and stuff like that, you know. Okie dokie. So dark, can't see. Behind you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh dear. I'm done. I'll help you fight. Huh? Eh? What? Yo! You did it! Undyne's right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? <laughs> hey, hey! 
You are going to tell Paris about this, are you? Yeah. <laughs> And off we go. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. You hear a passing conversation. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That is my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and one and the underground will go empty. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask someone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? Haha, <laughs> man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. Haha, <laughs> yo, stay something mean so I can hate you, please? Yes. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says to me all the time. Guess I have to do it. Haha, <laughs> yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> no! Yo, wait, help me! I'm tripped! Yeah, yo, 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 dude. If 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 you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Huh. <sighs> She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. I guess being enemies just is a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Oh, Probably. Later, dude. He's so cool. Doo -doo -doo. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as customary for those who make it this far, I should tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? <laughs> you. You're standing in the way of the everybody's hopes and dreams. All these history books made me think humans are cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away again from me again? And let me forget your wimpy goody two shoes shtick. Shtick. 
Ooh, you make me such different hugging random strangers. Yay. You know what would make me more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and for our freedom. Right now, I feel everyone's pounding together. Everyone's been waiting for their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. And now, human, let this end right here, right now. I'll show you determined monsters can be. How determined monsters can be. Step forward then, when you're ready. When you're ready. <laughs> Save. Let's do this. Fight and die. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Chishchum. Engard. Oof. Undyne attacks. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Not bad. And how about this? For years we have dreamed of a happy ending. Yeah, enough warming up. Haha, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you won't get away from me this time. <laughs> <laughs> no human has ever made it past Asgore. <laughs> Let's go, run. You've escaped me from the last time. Challenge. Challenge. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Too easy. Right now. Maho! Get ready! Ah, shit! Flee! Get ready! Run! Quick! Run, run, run! Hey! Hey! What's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime! I think we're great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Click. Shoot. 
Stop running away. Rah, die already, you little brat. Come back here, you little punk. I've got better to do. <laughs> this is it. The final. Yeah, but so hot. But I can't give up. Duh. Cup of water. Mm. Splish. Ha. Guess that's that. Sands gone. Huh. Oh, go, 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 go. I was thirsty, so I came from Waterfall to get a drink. But there's plenty of water at Waterfall. I don't get it. Hey, tra la la. I'm the Riverman. Or am I the River Woman? It really doesn't matter. That's right. I'd love to ride the boat. Would you like to care to join me? Yes. Where would you go? Waterfall. Off we go. Tra la la. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. What's my name? It really doesn't matter. Hmm. Come again sometime. Try la la. Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Okay, stand behind me. Make sure to give her this. She loves this. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here, Undyne. My friend brought you a gift for you. Brought a gift for you on the road. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You do have a fun. <laughs> uh, so why are you here? Why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, I've got news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now, and you aren't going to humiliate me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to become friends. You'll become so enamored with me, 
you'll be the one feeling humiliated for your actions. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Uh, why don't you have a seat? Cartable? I'll get you something to drink. I'll set, what would you like? Boom! <laughs> hey, don't get up! You're the guest, sit down and enjoy yourself. Uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Are you... hitting on me? <laughs> That's sugar for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? <laughs> do a human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Really? That's rules. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you point at that, you don't look happy. Hey, that's fine. I think the soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh. Why do I have it? Mm. <laughs> oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. The container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore always get marshmallows stuck in his beard. <laughs> Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. <laughs> hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Me. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to boot me? Beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to be getting their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Nah. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus come into the Royal Guard. Don't let, don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, he's not that, he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into tiny smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. 
You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Tish. Wait a second. Papyrus has cooking lessons. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. But um, kick him on. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means if if I give you his lessons, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. Foo <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be the best friends. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them with the dust with your fists. How will you pound them? I'm gonna go wimpy. You pet the vegetables with a affectionate manner. Oh my god. Stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade those are the best. But I just buy whole store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Ah, just put them in the pot. How we put them in? Carefully. The clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir it. Stir it harder. 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 <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right. For now, the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stuff top symbolize your ah. Let your hopes and dreams turn into the burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter. Damn it. Wait, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, about that. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, uh, what's next? Scroop booking? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not meant if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Jeez. That's it. I don't care if you're out guess anymore. One final rematch, all without both sides. Now come on, fight with all you got. Yeah. Take a check. Oh Boy. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attack me at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Huh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saturine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminds me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fitted to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human soul, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Whoosh. Ah. Oh. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some other time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, 
I'll go to hang up with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by in Snow Lane, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. <laughs> Poor house. Eee. Sounds like only found fire lives here now. Ah. Papyrus, I'm dying. <laughs> Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, we should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love a plan when it comes together. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should. Recording over oh, an hour now, so I could just try a little. Let's go back to Hotland. Try a little. I think I'll probably just end the video here. Because it's been going on for about an hour and a half almost, and <clears throat> I did a lot of money grinding to get the Temi armor and stuff, and took a bit of a while to get to where I was at. So I'll just leave it there for now, and continue from next time. Ugh, just the voice acting stuff just kind of made me feel a bit tired out now. Just not able to do the, the voices that I wanted to do for the characters and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time for part 7. Not too sure when I'll get to part 7, but hopefully soon if I can. I'm probably recording some other stuff in between and uh, stuff like that. Put them up. Hey. Yeah.